Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to do, um, I'm jumping in for a short, um, quite, uh, frequently asked questions. Do you have any questions at all to ask? I'm here to answer your questions. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So I'm here to answer your questions, okay? Make it nice and sweet and uh, do my best to help you guys. Uh, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are um, doing your detox and using your fruits and your herbs. Yeah. So let's wait a few minutes for people to come in. You can ask any question, though, okay? So feel free and ask. Hello. Hi, hi, how you doing? Hello. Let's see. So if you have any questions, uh, by the way, Happy New Year. If I didn't say Happy New Year already, wish you the very best. I hope this year um, gives you the opportunity to improve your health and to, you know, take charge of your life. Okay, this is exciting. It's a new year and how it goes up to you. Okay, so, you know, take this as an opportunity. Okay. Uh, so, okay, let's ask some questions. So someone says, uh, um, what may be the reasons that I feel like I lose balance easily? Well, there's, there's a few things that could happen for you to lose your balance, but, but primarily it means um, the, the mustard medulla, okay, and the cerebellum are affected with mucus and acids, and this affects ba balancing. So basically you have mucus in the head and acids in the head. So how do we get rid of that? Well, you need to alkalize the body with the, the raw vegan diet and the fruit, high fruit diet. And cl clean the bowels out, always clean the bowels, because remember the head sits on the GI tract, you always want that to be clean. Um, use uh, the herbs, very important, the herbs for the bowels, okay, herbs for the kidneys. This is a kidney issue, it's a lymphatic issue as well, because this is the root cause of it, okay? But you gotta clean the sinuses, you know, use horseradish root to break the, the sinuses. Um, use um, steam, steam and, and inhale a peppermint oil to break the mu mucus. Clean your ears, clean your eyes. Um, you know, anything you can do to move the congestion in the head, and that should improve it, okay? But it, it could also be a sugar issue, and it could also be um, a blood pressure issue. So you might want to get that checked as well, okay? Let's see, any more questions? Um, so got the Fab Five going. Yeah, it, it's once you got the fab. Listen, guys, get the herbs, okay? Get the herbs and commit. This one of the things I wanted to say to you was that, you know, it's very hard when you're trying to heal yourself and you're going on all fruits because we live in a society where, you know, people have their own... Um, they have their own bad habits and you're living in this society and you're exposed to it so it's difficult to to stay so to stay on track so one of the ways of committing is first of all you got to commit in your mind and say I'm, I'm doing this no matter what okay I'm committing I'm going 100% fruit for a while until I get better and then number two invest in the herbs because you see we human beings when we invest in um, in, in tinctures or herbs or something like that we, we take it more seriously whereas if we don't put that financial um, um, trigger in it we don't tend to take it seriously but by all means, make sure you get the herbs and make sure you stick to the fruits. I'm telling you, as you may know, it's a fantastic way it makes you feel. It's nothing that compares to the feeling you get when you know your body's clean, it's light, you know, you feel full of energy, you know, all the mucus coming out, all the waste, the fecal matter is coming out. So it's well worth it. So always, always invest in yourself. Okay, remember the herbs, the Fab Five, fab five uh, it contains all the herbs you need as the base and the kidney tea is all you need, you know, and 100% fruit diet. I personally love grapes, although, to be honest with you, I, I found it very difficult. I was trying to find grapes today. I couldn't find any grapes. So, um, you know, use oranges or lemons, whatever you can get your hands on, okay? Um, someone says, um, can we take probiotics during detox? Um, I don't take probiotics, period. And, he, and here's why, okay? Because, you know, if you know anything about, I can say, a septic tank, for instance, you do not need to put bacteria in a septic tank. Um, bacteria is attracted to the septic tank, you know, and your gut is much the same way. If um, if you, you you took antibiotics or something like that and it's, it's damaged, then you can use it to some extent, but it still doesn't solve the, the issue. Like the reason why um, you have this issue in the first place. In other words, why are you lacking the right bacteria, and why do you have the wrong bacteria? And it's, it's all about the culture and medium. So I don't believe in putting um, extra bacteria in your body, especially when um, the body can take it, take care of its own, meaning that the body can achieve its own balance. You don't need to put more. It's not a good idea to put more bacteria into a septic tank that's already exploding with bacteria, okay? It, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Bacteria, fungus, whatever it is, there's a natural balance in the body. The only reason why it gets um, unbalanced is because you're, you're putting the wrong foods in the body, and they are there to do their job, to break down foods and proteins and, and, and sugars. That's why they're there for, okay? So I don't use it personally, but if after detox you want to use it in moderation, do so. But be careful because whatever you put into your body, and, and the body gets lazy, doesn't want to do its own. Like for instance, if you take a lot of sodium uh, bicarbonate, the body, the pancreas gets uh, will get weak and not produce enough bicarbonate itself. So don't try and um, supplement the body in stuff it does already. Don't try and make it weaker. Okay. So um, someone says I'm incorporating steam. How do I drive fast and steam at the same time without dehydrating? 
um, I wouldn't do a, a sauna with a dry fast, okay? Because um, uh, um, a dry fast, as you know, is no food, no water. And when you do a sauna, you're sweating and you're, you're dehydrating. So it's not really a good idea. Only people who have experience in this can, can do it. So I don't think you, sh you should do that. If you truly want to use the sauna, which is a fantastic idea because you want to sweat. Remember that um, this healing process is all about elimination. You want to eliminate through the kidneys, the, the bowels, through the lungs and through the skin. And sweating is an excellent way of doing that, okay? But when you're, d when you're on a dry fast, it's kind of uh, touchy. I, wouldn't, I personally wouldn't do that on a dry fast maybe on a, a water fast okay i would do that but not a dry fast so d don't uh, go on a sauna in on a dry fast okay yes yeah, thank you thank you for the kind words i do appreciate it um let's see um when did you start doing this detox vegan etc um i became a vegan about eight 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 years ago i think eight or nine years ago i don't know exactly know the date um and I became uh, into high into the fruits only a few years ago. But um, yeah, it's something that I almost like fell into by mistake. Um, you know, my, my wife um, invited me, told us we should go into a raw vegan diet um, retreat. And I said yes. And when I went there, it transformed me completely that um, I went from a full-blown meat eater. I was eating meat to every meal, high protein diets. I was taking one, one gram uh, per pound of body weight, you know, high, high, high protein diet. And when I went there, you know, I was, um, although I'm muscular, um, almost pre-diabetic, pre almost um, um, high blood sugar levels were fluctuating. Um, and then the, the doctor there told me that, you know, I should be careful. But when I went on to the, um, the raw vegan lifestyle, everything changed, literally. I had aches and pains all went away. Chronic shoulder pains all went away. Um, so that sold me. I never went back to eating meat or animal products after that because the change was drastic. And then I got exposed to um, natural healing and I had a knack for it. So I became good at it. So I, I'm, 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 I was able, I am able to connect the dots, so to speak. I know I can see the weaknesses of in, in, in a person and connect them. I use aridology. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a journey, but um, I have a great passion for it. So I've become good at it. Okay. So that's how it, it all started. It started by mistake almost. Okay. So how do you drain um, swollen lymph on neck? So if you have any kind of swollen lymph nodes, please, you got to make your kidney, get sure, make your kidneys filter. It's crucial. This kidney filtration issue, as you know, when your kidneys are not filtering out metabolic waste from your lymph system, remember your lymph system is what removes waste from your hundred chelin cells. If your kidneys are not filtering out that waste, that waste is going to back up. And it's much like a river. When a, when a river becomes stagnant, if it's blocked, what happens to the river? It starts uh, getting stagnant, bacteria come in, come in, f fungus comes in, etc. right? So the same with the lymph system, it backs up. And this, when it backs up, it's going to start swelling, okay? And the lymph nodes will get hard, etc. So if this happens, the, you're going to get the, the lymph system moving with the 100% fruit diet. You got to get kidneys to filter. You got to use, use the herbs, the kidney tea, the uh, fabulous five. Um, go heavy on the kidney herbs. You got to, you need kidney filtration. Okay, crucial. Remember I told you, kidney filtration is like you look at like a glass of water. Um, you urinate in the morning into a jar, okay? And you should see sediment in like snowflakes or mucus strands. And that's, that's, uh, that's what, what I mean by kidney filtration. If you don't see that, it means that you're not filtering. And that's why your lymph system is getting stagnant and hard. So I'll, I, if it were me personally, I'll be on a, um, a 20 to 35 day dark grip only diet okay and i would use the herbs i would use the fabulous five the kidney tea i would use the kidney flush i would use um adrenal um tinctures to get the adrenals working properly and i would be relentless on it because this is not a good sign you don't want your lymph nodes to get hard you don't want your lymph system to get hard get on it quickly you know um message me if you need steps on it okay um someone says how to cure erect erectile dysfunction so remember, when it comes to such issues, it's a, it's a lack of energy flow, okay? Blood flow, lymph flow, nerve flow, any one of the three. So what's causing, what causes blockage of energy? Again, the foods you've been eating, you've been eating starches and proteins, causes mucus buildup, causes acidity, acidosis. This builds up on the lymph system. Lymph system puts pressure on, the, on blood flow, okay? Puts pressure on the nerves, and then you have, you have this issue. If you go on herbs and fruit diet and use the herbs in the Fabulous 5 kidney tea, and use herbs for lower circulation, for blood flow there, work on the prostate, okay? Because, you know, we have uh, herbs for the prostate that also are anti-inflammatory. Basically, you gotta clean the kidneys. If the kidneys start uh, cleaning, uh, are filtering properly, the prostate, all the acids in the prostate, and inflammation will leave, all the acids in the testicles will, will leave, and you you have ir um, erections, no problem. This is one of the easiest things to achieve, is once you change your diet, a raw vegan diet for most people is good enough. But I would be on, on the raw vegan diet. I'll also fix my adrenals because, you know, hormone production is over there. Uh, use the, the lower circulation herbs. Use the ki kidney herbs. Um, use the Fabulous 5. And 
I'll go on a 20, 30, that grape only diet. That, that alone should be enough to get you um, strong, okay? Let's see. Um, so I says, how to deal with chronic sore throat. Now, um, sore throat, there, there are many um, causes of it, okay? So I'm going to assume that it's due to the, um, the acidity buildup, okay? Meaning that your body, your throat is congested with mucus and it's becoming hard. So you have this, um, you know, sore throat. But go get a check because it can be it can be so many things and and I I can't tell you from here. But if um, I had a sore throat and it wasn't that severe, I want to take care of it. I would have like ginger tea. I would have um, you know anything that to relax the mucosa. Mulin herb is good. Okay, marshmallow root is good. These are uh, very um, healing, um, nurturing herbs that are, are great on the mucosa. That will give you some relief on, on the throat. But but if I were you, I would check on it because sore throat could be in, it could be an infection. Okay, um, let's see. Um, someone says, why can't we have frozen fruit on a cleanse? You can't have frozen fruit on a cleanse. It's just, um, if I had a choice between frozen and, 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 and fresh, I'll take fresh, okay? Because, I mean, it's obvious. You don't want, you want the fresh, the fresher the better. The more enzymes in there, the more nutrition in there. So fresh is better. But if you don't have access to fresh fruits, frozen is fine. You can do, uh, you can do smoothies, okay? It's fantastic. Just make sure it's 100% fruits though. That's all. Yeah. So someone says, no cures here, just commitments to healing. Absolutely. You know, to cure something means that you are labeled it with a, a name, like a disease name. We don't do that. We get to the, to the root cause. We get the body in an optimal state so the body can heal itself. The body is a self-healer, not the, the fruits, not the herbs. The body self-heals. But it can only self-heal when you put it in an optimum position or situation or environment. And that's why we use the fruits and herbs because they're alkalizing, okay? And they're cleansing and they're hydrating. And once the body is in that state, it can, it can pretty much do anything. It's next to... Almost everything is, is not impossible for it to heal, okay? Let's see. Um, so I said, I'm just beginning my plant-based journey. What should be should I be doing in conjunction with eating fruit and herbs? You know what? This is a, a lifestyle kind of change because when you go on the fruits, okay, it's very nurturing, very loving, okay? And um, meditate, you know, pray, go for walks, embrace nature. Don't retain the same habits. Don't watch TV. Don't do all those things that kept you down, okay? Because um, when you're on this kind of uh, uh, remedy or when this kind of um, protocol, you're trying to fix everything at the same time, spiritually, physically, mentally. So meditate is very important. Find your true self. Find who you really are, okay? Like, I mean, dig deep inside, behind the mind and find who you are. So meditation is crucial. Um, walks in nature is crucial. If you have an ocean or river, swim, swim in it, you know, anything that, that can get you in touch with your true self and with nature is what you should be doing when you're trying to heal yourself. You want to relax and meditate. I, I keep on saying meditation because it's crucial. When the mind is, is calm and the mind is, 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 is not stressed out, adrenals work better, everything works better, you know, you, the bowels will, will work better. You, you get better bowel movements and so therefore you can eliminate waste and you heal faster. So it's, find anything to get more relaxed, okay, and stress free. Let's see, let's see. Um, someone says, um, if you eat a, um, a raw vegan diet, what supplements to take as a, as a woman for thyroid and woman organs? So, I mean, I don't, again, if you know me perfectly, I don't believe in supplementation because my diet, aside from detox, um, it's, it's rich in vegetables and fruits, and they contain all the mineral and vitamins I need. If you're thinking about, about B12 and um, vitamin D, those are touchy subjects, but you, you, you can take them if you want to, and make sure that they're vegan. Like, in other words, don't use the animal-sourced ones. Use the vegan-sourced ones. But I would, um, if, if you wanted, want to supplement, I would be on that. And for thyroid, I'm, I presume that your thyroid is weak. You need herbs like, you know, um, sea moss and um, kelp. They are fantastic for the thyroid to boost it up. Okay, for the female reprodu reproductive organ, you need to use herbs like chase tree berry, okay? Because it's like a, it's like, a, it's, it increases progesterone, so it balances out the excess um, estrogen and gives you um, better p periods and better um, female function, okay? But again, it's all the diet. You gotta cleanse the body. You know, 100% fruit diet is what I would do um, initially and use the herbs, the fabulous five, the kidney tea. And we have herbs for the female reproductive area as well. And you use that and you see you get better and healthier, okay? Uh, make your diet um, predominantly raw vegan. I mean, meaning that even if you're not detoxing, let it be like 70% uh, raw uh, fr uh, fruits and veggies, mostly raw uh, fruits. And then the rest, it can be cooked vegan, alkaline vegan, and you're good. But if you're detoxing, you're trying to heal something, 100% fruits, okay? Let's see. Um, nerve pain. Yeah, I mean, nerve pain. Why would the nerve uh, nerves begin to hurt you? Why? If it's a lymphatic issue. Lymph is, pressure, is putting pressure on the ner nervous system, okay? Adrenals are not working properly. 
Okay, because the, the gut is, is blocked, the solar plexus houses nerves, okay, and the back of the head houses nerves as well. So you got to clean the whole body, you got to clean the head, you got to clean the gut, you got to clean the adrenals, you got to clean the kidneys, you know, it's a whole thing. It, the body doesn't just pick one location. If you you have nervous system issues, you have issues all over the body, it's acidosis. So, I mean, I would be on 100% fruit diet, I would be using... Um, the Fabulous 5 kidney tea, I would use um, a tincture we call Neurological One Tincture. It has herbs for the brain and nerves. Okay, I would clean my gut and use herbs for the gut. Okay, and I would um, move the sinus, sinus, remove all the mucus in the head region. You know, make sure my sinuses are clean, um, ear candling, wash the eyes, um, you know, blow your nose out, make sure everything, all the mucus come out. And then you see, you get relief and your nerves start working better. Okay, but a high fruit diet is the perfect food meaning that it's a perfect way of uh, nurturing the nervous system and um, healing it. Okay, let's see. Um, so suggestions for mold toxicity. If you have any kind of mold uh, toxicity in your body, again, it's the same principles of DDD toxin. You, you want to get the kidneys working better. You want to get the lymph system working better. The lymph system is what removes waste, toxins, poisons from your body through to your lymph nodes, through to your kidneys. If any of those pathways are blocked, you, you cannot get rid of the mold. But if they are open, you can get rid of the mold. Okay, it's, it's, it's the same principles. 100% fruit diet. I would use the, the Fabulous 5. Okay, I would use the neurological one t uh, tincture. Okay, I would to cleanse the brain. I'll use a circulation tincture for the brain, uh, head, head region, for the upper body. I'll clean the gut. Okay, and like I said, 100% fruit diet. I'll be on a, maybe a 10 day lemon only cleanse. And then, and then a solid fruit diet, or maybe a 20 or 30 day dark grape only diet is what I would use to try and get, to get rid of this. Also, you can use green drinks like, um, cilantro, parsley, um, that have cilantro and parsley in there, and, you know, all the dark green vegetables, they, they help remove toxins from your body, and like heavy metals, etc. okay? Um, someone says, can you use, uh, shijalit, sh um, during detox? You can use it. I, I'm not crazy about that herb in particular because it, it, it's inorganic, most of it is inorganic, um, minerals. And when it's inorganic, and especially these days, you don't know where it's coming from. Uh, you don't know if it's a true source of it, and you're consuming it. It can be heavy in in, in metals, in, in, and so I, I I don't I don't choose to use that that herb. There are many other herbs that are far better and don't have these uh, risks involved in them. So yeah, but you can use them if you have the true source of it. But um, it's not my first choice when it comes to healing. Um, someone says, do you recommend we take vitamin D? Like I said, um, if, if your body, if your adrenals are working properly, if your body is truly healthy, you don't need vitamin D supplements. But if you, you think you're deficient, by all means use it, but use a vegan vitamin D supplement, okay? Not, um, uh, don't use the animal-based uh, one. Okay, let's see. Um, someone says, I'm using blended ginger and chopped turmeric with pepper and lemon. Tell me you know. Um, it sounds like a good um, mix, the turmeric and the ginger. I would juice it and drink it with the lemon. Okay, because I believe I don't want the fiber. I want maximum nutrients and less fiber when I'm detoxing. Let's see. Um, so is anything? Oh, so, so, okay. So, so someone has a severe lung issue. If you have a se severe lung issue and you're at the hospital, then I would listen to your doctor at this point. Okay, because um, obviously you're there for a reason, and you don't want to mess around with the lungs. Okay, the lungs, um, especially when, if you're holding fluid. It can be dangerous. So, you know, once you're out of there, then come back in, and you can detox the same way. It's the fruits and the herbs, get the kidneys to filter so you can move any uh, mucus buildup. You can get the, um, use herbs for the lungs, okay, clean the bowels. It's all the same principles. Okay, but I, I mean, but since you're in that position already, you know, make sure you, you are, I mean, you fix it before you, you, you get out. Let's see. Okay. Oh, someone says, I've been on four days already, straight f herbs and fruits, man. I'm, very, I'm proud of you. Four days, even though it seems like uh, not a lot, is a lot. And well done. I'm proud of you. Keep it up, okay? It's fantastic. When I see hear people doing such things like that, it makes me so proud and so happy. Because I know you, you're going to feel great. Keep it up. Um, see. Thanks for, okay. Oh, someone says, thank you for the help you're giving us. Uh, thank you for watching my, my channel. Thank you for following me. And thank you for taking charge, charge of yourself. I, I'm... I'm deeply appreciative of that because a lot of people, they get information, they don't use it, or they want something else, like a, a pill to swallow. And, you know, you are taking the, the route of educating yourself to learn so that you can help others as well. Help yourself and then help others. I'm, I'm so happy uh, when people do that. And so, someone says, can I mix mangoes, apples, and Swiss uh, chard together? Um, in, in general, when you're detoxing, you don't mix fruits and veggies. But, uh, you know, I'm also guilty of doing that. I will mix veggies and fruits t together. So long as your body can tolerate it. Some people, when they mix it, they'll, f they'll immediately feel bloating and gas. 
if that's if that's you, then I wouldn't mix them together. If if you can take veggies and fruits and you don't have any bloating or gas, then you can try that for sure. But I would juice it anyways. I wouldn't um, eat it uh, solid. Okay, so let's see. My adrenals can't handle all the natural sugars. How can I um, do all fruits? If your adrenals are weak, which means that you cannot metabolize sugar properly, in this case, I would go on green drinks first, but I would use the herbs. I would use the Fabulous 5, okay? I would use Fabulous 5. I would use the kidney tea because it's a kidney issue. Remember, if your adrenals are compromised because there's mucus and acids in it, um, uh, affecting it. So you want to get that out of you. So you want to make sure the bowels are clean. You want to make sure the kidneys are, are working better, uh, uh, filtering waste, and the lymph system is moving, okay? So even though um, uh, the fruits are the superior way of moving the lymph system, if you go on green drinks, you can get some remedy for a few weeks, and then you can build up to the fruits. Okay, but um, go heavy on the herbs. If you're going to go green drinks, you need that extra kick, that extra help from the herbs. Okay, so I would be on green drinks and using the herbs I just, I just mentioned. And then use um, an adrenal uh, herbs. Like, you know, we, we have it in tincture form, but you can use like um, cordyceps, um, panax ginseng are good, ashwagandha, um, licorice root. These are great for adrenals. But you might also need an adrenal glandular. You, you have to look into your eye. Your eye will tell you if you need if they are chronic and that you need some kind of um, stimulation on it. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, I mean, I said the turmeric and lemon shots already. I said you can do it already, okay? So you, there's no problem with that. Um, is it true that um, parathyroidism will kill you? Um, <laughs> I guess it could, yeah. But if that's the case, don't, don't, don't let it happen. Take care of your body. Take care of your health, you know? Like, don't sit back and wait. If nobody can get, no one has the right to tell you you're done. Only you can tell you you're done. Okay, and the body will, will heal itself if you allow it to. Also, it's a mental thing. If you uh, give up inside mentally, then you, you're pretty much done. But if you are strong mentally and say I'm going to do this, I'm going to succeed, that's half the battle. Okay, then you add the fruits and the herbs. But no one has the right to give you uh, that um, tell you that you're done. Nobody has the right. Only only God and you, or nature and you, can have the right. Okay, let me see. Um, I take, um, sorry, someone, someone says I take, uh, is it ginger, ginger tea form of cayenne? Yes, you can take cayenne pepper, a pinch of it, okay? It's great for circulation, it's great for blood flow, um, blood flow, and it's, it's very stimulating. But don't, don't take too much, okay? Because it, it can, um, excite the, the mucosa, and you produce too much mucus, okay? So, in moderation is good. Someone says, do, do, do I take supplements? No, I don't take supplements, okay? Um, I prefer not to, okay? So, so occasionally, I, I've tried um, vitamin D and I've tried um, B12, but um, actual supplements like vitamin C and stuff, no, I don't take any of those. Um, let see. Kidney stones says kidney stones. Well, if you have any kind of stones, you understand why the stone, stone will, will form, okay? Stone form because the body is taking um, alkaline minerals, calcium, you know, it could be cholesterol, and it's using it to bind to metabolic waste to protect you, to, to neutralize the acids. And these stones form in this location. So it means that you, you, your kidneys, in fact, your whole body is as in, is as in a state of acidosis. If you, if you get a body alkaline, the kidneys alkaline to the alkaline side, it has no reason to be there. So, I mean, I'll be on a herbs and fruit diet. I'll use herbs for the, for the Fabulous 5 uh, tincture, uh, kidney tea, kidney herbs, okay, and work on, the, on, on kidney filtration. You're looking for kidney filtration. And the stones have no reason to be there. If it's too big, you might need to get uh, get rid of it. Or you can do a kidney um, stone flush, okay? I don't have it on hand right now, but if you DM me, I can send you um, a guide to the uh, a kidney stone uh, cleanse, okay? Um, uh, let's see, any more questions? So quite a few questions here, okay. Oh, um, yeah, someone's talking about hot herbs, like Yohimbi, Maca root, and uh, Tonga Ali. These are hot herbs, and don't use don't use, use these herbs if you have any kind of uh, prostate issues, okay? It's very, be careful, especially if it's for men. You don't want to use Yohimbi, and you don't want to use um, Tonga Ali, because they are, they are tonics, they are, they are hot herbs. And if you have inflammation in, in the prostate region, and your kidneys are not filtering, it can backfire on you, okay? Because all that testosterone, it, it can cause, cause enlargement of your prostate. So be very careful when you use this herbs. You always should make sure your kidneys are filtering, uh, that your, your body is healthy before you jump in such hot herbs. Okay, Remember, remember that if you cleanse the body with 100% fruit diet and use the herbs, you, you will have um, all the strength in, in erections. You don't need to work for it. You don't need to take extra herbs for it. Okay, see. 
Um, someone says, do you agree that citrus fruits are bad for eczema? Okay, let's say, are citrus fruits bad for any skin condition? Listen, when you have skin condition, it means your kidneys are not filtering. Your skin is a third kidney. It takes the, the burden from your, your, your kidneys, especially when they're, they're not filtering. And it tries to express those acids out of the body, but it's not as efficient as the kidneys. Okay, and so it, what, what happens is it starts piling up underneath the skin. And now when you take a citrus fruit, and it's going to start moving that lymph system. And it's going to start expressing those acids through your skin. So you might see a flare-up of your skin condition. But it's not because the, the fruits are damaging your skin. It's because the fruits are trying to get rid of the um, excess mucus and lymph stuck in there. Okay. So the way to fix this is to get the kidneys to work better in terms of filtration. You need to go herbs and fruits. You need to use uh, herbs for the kidneys. Okay, very important. You need kidney filtration. If your kidneys filter, the body will move all that waste is, is um, put to, towards the skin through to the kidneys, and you see the skin will, get, will start to glow and get better. FYI, um, even a dry fast done properly after a fruit cleanse for an extended period of time can give you ex excellent skin. Okay, a dry fast is very, very powerful to use. I don't recommend ev everybody use it, especially for long durations because you have to know what you're doing okay, with, the, with a dry fast. But by all means, the skin condition and citrus fruits, um, they go hand in hand. If I, if, I, if I had a skin condition and I really wanted to get um, go after my, my skin condition, I'll go on citrus fruits. But I will be prepared to see the flare-ups. Okay, it's called detox symptoms. I, I mean, I know what to expect or what to see, so I would do it. But if you not knowing what to, to expect and you see a flare up of your skin condition and when you took the citrus fruits, you get scared. But it's actually the, skin, the body trying to express acids. Okay, so it, it's a good thing. Um, how low can, oh, um, I don't, that question, how, can, how low can your BMI get on a, a fruit diet? Um, you know, I, I don't measure it, so I wouldn't know. All I know is that I feel fantastic on fruits, and everyone who, everyone who goes on fruits gets the energy and, you know, the strength and everything. After, you know, for some people, when they go on the fruits, they're going to have low energy initially because their adrenals are, are weak. But once the adrenals get back on board, you know, you get boundless energy, okay? And the weight-wise, you only drop weight until the body s says it's enough. You know, if you're, if you're malabsorbed, you drop a lot of weight. If you're not malabsorbed, you won't drop a lot of weight. My, my calories on my diet are very low, okay, extremely low. My breakfast is orange juice. My, my lunch is usually an apple or two or some grapes, okay? And, and dinner could be a big salad and sometimes cooked vegan. That's low calorie. For someone my weight, that's 230 pounds, um, I'm guessing my calories would be like 1,005 to 1,008, which is nothing, okay? Which is nothing to maintain muscle mass at least. But I still have my muscle mass and the weight is 230 pounds currently. Okay, so um, it, I wouldn't worry about the BMI at this point. If you're eating a raw vegan diet, healthy diet, you'll be fine. Um, so one says, how to reduce high blood pressure. When you, when you say any high, high blood pressure, remember it very carefully. The, the top number for the blood pressure number is, um, represents your adrenals. And the bottom number is your kidneys. Okay, so when you have high bl blood pressure, it's your kidneys. Your kidneys are weak. You're not filtering out waste. Your adrenals are weak because your adrenals control your kidneys. So if you want to fix uh, this naturally or get it better, you need to work on your kidneys and your adrenals. So I'll be on adrenal herbs and I'll be on kidney herbs and I'll be detoxing the whole body, 100% food diet with Fabulous 5 kidney tea, you know, like this. You get Fabulous 5 and the kidney tea. Those are your base. You always be on those kind of herbs, okay? Because it, it, because it contains all the herbs you need for the kidneys, the adrenals, the lymph system, stomach, and bowels, okay? And it, it cleanses up for you. But in a little bit of time, and remember to stay on your meds when you're doing this because, you know, the, the, they put you on it for a reason. And only you and the, and the doctor can decide to get off it, okay? So I would work on my kidneys and adrenals um, when I'm trying to get uh, normalize my blood pressure. Let's see. Okay, um... So I says, thank you for changing my bad eating habits. Every day is a battle uh, resistant fast foods. Listen, if you have, if you have any cravings for fast foods, you're already halfway there. You're, you're already taking the steps to improve your diet, okay? Remember that breakfast always, you want to make it juices, fresh, freshly squeezed juice. And breakfast should be after 11, preferably 12, okay? And you, when you do this routine, in other words, you're fasting, you're, you're fasting from night, nighttime till 12 p.m., and then you're going to break your fast. Remember, you're fasting with orange juice. If you do this for a, a few weeks, you will not crave a, a breakfast at all. In fact, you, you you will thrive not eating. Okay. And then lunch, you can have a big salad or you can have some fruits. Okay. And then dinner, you can have, you know, if you're detoxing, obviously the fruits raw. But if you're not detoxing, you can have some steamed veggies or some cooked alkaline uh, vegan. 
Okay, that's how I would do it. But if you have cravings, it's parasites. You need to get the herbs for parasites. And our website is called Antimicrobial. Okay, the herbs that will get rid of excess fungus in, in you. The fungus is what is, breeds this craving. Okay, so invest in the herbs. Invest in the antimicrobial herbs, the parasite herbs. Go on herbs, herbs and food diet. Use the Fabulous 5. Use the kidney tea. And you see the cravings will go away and they never come back. And then you have this balanced energy. Once the adrenals, because the adrenals is what makes use of, of, of sugars, right? It's sugar metabolism. Once your adrenals are up and running um, and it's breaking down the sugar properly, you will not have this uh, fungus, except overgrowth of fungus that causes your craving, okay? So, um, someone says, can a raw vegan diet alone heal kidneys? I've seen it happen. Yeah, I have seen it happen. But if you have a kidney issue, I will use the herbs for sure. And I'll be on high, on a 100% fruit diet, preferably, because I want faster results. But yeah, I've seen a raw vegan diet um, help the kidneys, absolutely. Um, someone says, why do I produce so much mucus? Okay, so I, if you produce a lot of mucus, your food you're eating, okay? So it depends. If, if you're producing a lot of mucus and you're not on an alkaline diet, it means the body is, the food you're putting in there, the body it doesn't want it, so it's spitting it out. It's producing excess mucus. But if you're on an alkaline diet or you're on a fruit diet and you're producing a lot of mucus, it means the body is trying to eliminate the mucus, okay? So you want to be more aggressive and get the kidneys to filter, get the lymph system, system to move. Um, I would use the lemon-only cleanse because it will bring out even more mucus out and make sure you spit it out. Make sure you, f you don't suppress it. Don't swallow it. You know, uh, make sure you, all your attempts are to bring all the mucus out of your body. Okay, it's very important because, um, all the excess mucus, sorry, because it's, the body is trying to get rid of it. It's telling you it wants to get rid of it. So if you have excess mucus coming out, if you're on a, um, like I said, cook, if you're on a, um, a standard American diet, I would go on a, on a raw vegan diet, okay, and then high fruit diet and use the herbs. And if you are detoxing with fruits and a raw uh, a vegan diet, I would be heavy on the herbs, okay, and I would use a lemon only cleanse to get everything out. Okay. Someone says, um, should I get the Fab 3 or the kidney tea package to clean the body? Um, the Fab, see, they're different. Okay. The reason why um, I like to use both, okay, actually my preference, my preference is to use the Fabulous 5 uh, tincture. Okay. And why? Because when you have the Fab 3, Fab 3 has herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, and the lymph system. And it has three of each. But when you, you take the tincture of Fab 5, it has herbs for the kidneys, adrenals, lymph system, stomach and bowels, and the endocrine glands. And it has about 10 herbs of each of them in there. Okay, So it's far more potent. Plus, it's a tincture gives you about 90% of the plant essence, whereas um, a, a tea gives you about 15%. Okay, So it's just worth it for you to invest in the Fabulous 5. But I would, I would use the Fabulous 5 and the kidney tea. And if you're not getting the Fabulous 5, I would use the Fab 3 and the kidney tea because you always want to address the kidneys because the kidney is the doorway to health. Okay, kidneys is, is what removes, uh, um, filters the lymphatic waste. If they're not in good working order, if the lymph system backs up and all the organ tissue and glands are affected. That's why we always add extra kidney herbs. So the Fab, fab 3 plus kidney, or the Fab 5 plus kidney, okay? Uh, let's see. Okay, the kidney stones, I covered kidney stones already. Um, so I said, do you have to, do you have to do a complete food diet to see uh, progress? It depends what you're trying to heal. If you if you came from a, um, a standard American diet of fast foods and you went on a raw vegan diet, I mean the changes the changes will be astounding, okay. But if you if you if you are trying to heal something a, a condition you're trying to heal, you need to go on a high hundred percent food diet. That's what I would do personally, okay, because it's the only effective way of hydrating the body, of moving the lymph system, of removing excess mucus. It's the only effective way of 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 putting enough nutrients, minerals, and vitamins, antioxidants, flavonoids in the body, okay. It cleanses the body and it strengthens the body. It's powerful, powerful stuff. So yeah, I mean, if you want great results, go on harmful food diet. If you don't, if you want to coast and you want to just feel a bit better, and you have no issue to to, to heal, then by all means, you can go uh, seventy percent raw vegan and thirty percent cooked alkaline vegan. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, if you send me a DM, I'll get to you. Listen, I get I get quite a bit of uh, DMs. Okay, and what I do is that I answer them personally, and I don't tend to be able to keep up. Not because. I'm um, putting less hours because I'm getting more and more and more. And when I answer a question, people ask me, reply to that answer again, uh, that question again. And it keeps backlogged because I have 100 every day, 100 plus every day coming in, plus another 100 and so uh, waiting for me to answer. So it backs up. But if, if you are, if the question is pressing, just simply tag me a few times on my, on my comment, uh, as a comment, and I'll do my best to address it. But I haven't forgotten anybody. I, I tend to all the questions, okay, personally. Um, let's see, um, any more questions? 
So how do you get uh, the herbs? Could you post your website again? Okay. Um, yeah, um, so the, the herbs, uh, the, yeah, the website is miraherbals.info, okay? M-I-R-A-H-E-R-B-A-L-S.info. And, and you can get the herbs there, okay? So like the Fabulous Five and the, and the kidney tea, etc. All the herbs are there. But um, the, on my profile link is a link to my Facebook page. And I do that because my goal when I'm doing this is to help you, is to educate you. So the goal is education. And um, the f- Facebook group I have is also educational. When you go there, people of like mind are there. They ask questions, etc. My goal is not to push the herbs. And also, I want people who use the herbs to know what they to to be. What's the right word? To be um, invested in it, like they've made the decision that they want to do this. Because I know the power of the herbs. I know the power of the fruits. And but the mind has to be right. You got to fix the mind. The mind has to say, "I'm doing this, right? I'm, I'm going to do this." And then when you do that, you have won the battle already. Right? Because the fruits and the herbs, you use them for two weeks, you're going to see the results. I mean, you're going to see the power in them. I mean, there's no denying it. Okay? But the website is mirrorherbals.info. Okay? And like, like I said, um, you could um, DM me or you can comment in a section. I'll give to you as well. Okay? Um, someone says, what about vitiligo? Um, so when you have any kind of skin discor- um, color changes in your skin, it's due to the fact that your pituitary gland is compromised. Okay, So um, I would get an eye reading to see if it's really truly compromised. And if it's really chronic, I would probably take uh, pituitary glandula and pituitary herbs. Okay, But at the same time, 100% fruit diet, fabulous five kidney tea, you got to be relentless. This is a deep issue. you got to cleanse the whole body, clean all the endocrine glands. Okay, So it's, it means your pituitary gland is compromised. And remember that the pituitary gland is a gland that controls all the other endocrine glands. You don't want it to be messed up because it controls the adrenals, which control the kidneys. It controls the thyroid, which controls you know metabolic rates, okay, and sweating, etc. So it's all interconnected. So you want to detox the whole body. I'll be 100% fruit diet, purpose five kidney tea, and some excess health for the pituitary gland, and possibly pituitary glandula. Get an eye reading. It's very important to, to see your weaknesses. Okay, let's see. Um... So, so I'm 67 years old and have never had a problem with, um, with I'm sorry, I can't really see what you said there. Oh, you have body odor. Oh, you have body odor all of a sudden. Now, it's very simple. What's inside comes out. So in other words, if you have a stench to you, I'm sorry, but it means that there's proteins and sugars in there that are decomposing and you're not getting rid of, rid of them. Guess okay, what it means. Okay, So you most likely will have a lot of fungus overgrowth as well. Um, stop eating the foods that are causing this problem. Stop eating the proteins. Stop eating the uh, complex carbohydrates. Stop eating the starches and go have some fruit diet. And you see, you start smelling like a fruit. Like Meaning like you, you have a sweet smell to you, a clean, sweet smell. Because the smell is a reflection of your insides. Something is decaying inside. Something is rotting inside. It could be the foods or it could be a tissue. And you don't want that to be up. If that's happening, it's a big problem. So um, 100% fruit diet, kid- fix your kidneys, filter out the waste, clean your bowels, eat 100% fruit diet, okay, it's very important, and, and be relentless at it, don't stop until you, you get uh, clean, um, clean uh, yeah, you smell nice. How to clean the colon? Colon is very simple. Now remember this, your, your, your colon, the, the GI tract was never meant to, we were never meant to stuff a lot of food down it. If you look at the way it's designed, um, we're not meant to eat three, five meals a day, heavy protein and starches. And the food just sits there and gets stuck in there. Because when it does that, it starts um, fermenting, it gets putrid. Okay, and bacteria, fungus comes in, toxins come in. Okay, it's meant to be light. That's why a high food diet is preferred. Because um, when the high food diet takes 15 to 20 minutes to digest, it's high in fiber. It goes right through, it cleans everything, it scrubs and cleans as it goes down the colon. So if you want to clean your colon, you got to change your diet, 100% fruit diet, or a raw vegan diet at the very least. I prefer 100% fruit because it's very light. And in fact, if you have really bad colon issues or GI tract issues, I'll be on green drinks and fruit juices for a bit of time because you don't want to be stuffing more food and fiber in there. You want to be dislodging all the fecal matter, all the waste out there. So I would use the um, herbs like this, bowel strength tincture, okay? It helps... Um, strengthen the bowels and i would use the fabulous five and the kidney tea um i would use a bowel cleanser to pull the muc- mucus, pl- uh, mucus out or mucus pl- plaque from the um, intestine small intestines etc and um and go and have some fruit diet that's how you cl- clean the colon i'll use enemas occasion once in a while i'll use colonics that's it and you get a clean nice bowel but i would be on fruit juices if your bowels are congested or um a high fruit diet okay like a grape only diet or like a melon only diet that's how you clean the bowels and the herbs lots of herbs for the bowels Okay, um, someone says a raw me- vegan meal replacement. I'm, I I I don't really get that. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that you need a raw vegan meal replacement? 
I'll take green drinks. I don't know what you, exactly you're trying to refer to, but please clarify. Um, someone says, what is a 20, 30 day, 30 grape diet? So when I say 20, 30 day, I, I mean like literally 20 days of nothing but grapes. Okay. Um, this diet is an old diet. It's not new. It's not, it's, it's been, it's been there for, um, it was written by a lady called Brandt, her last name Brandt, and she found the, the amazing power of grapes in healing. Okay. So it's something used by natural healers since then, and even before then, because grapes are very, very powerful, very nu nutritive. They are stringent. They pull mucus. They liquefy mucus. They move the lymph system. They, are, they give you all the mineral vitamins you need. Okay. It's, it's one of the most perfect foods you can eat. If you eat, eat, eat nothing but grapes, I mean, you will not be deficient in anything, put it that way. But they're also most healing. So when someone wants to cleanse the body really quickly, I would say a 20 to 30 day dark grape only diet. It's fantastic. Okay. Cleansing, healing. And of course, use the herbs. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. So for gas in the stomach, any remedy? If you have any gas in your stomach, check your pancreas. Your pancreas is probably not working uh, properly. The pancreas is what, you know, produces uh, bicarbonates into deal of alkaline um, food you're eating. And if it's not working properly, you're going to have, uh, it could have potential gas issues. Also, wrong food combination. If you're eating protein and starches, and let's say, let's say the protein is excessive because the pancreas is weak, then you're going to have the, these issues. So I would be on 100% fruit diet, fabulous five kidney tea, and you see, you, you're going to get better. Once you put the right foods in, in your system, these things will go away. But maybe you want to take a pancreas herbs, herbs for the pancreas, or a pancreas uh, glandular if it's chronic. Check your eyes to see if it's chronic. Okay, let's see. Um, so someone says, why is meat so bad? I eat meat and feel fantastic. Listen, I'm not here to criticize anybody's point of view in terms of meat, okay? I'm only here because my channel is a de detox channel. It's a channel that um, helps people heal themselves with fruits and veggies. People who come to my channel have, have, have already been on meat, okay? They've already been on the meats, and it's their choice to come here. I don't go against anyone's preference in eating meat. I personally am I'm a vegan, meaning that I... my I'm a plant-based eater. I don't eat any animal products, okay? And um, m meat in general is mucus forming, okay? There's no uh, denying that. It's, it, will, it will create, it's also constipating food as well. But if you, you are benefiting from it and you're enjoying it, by all means, you know, it's, it's your, your choice, your pathway, you know. No one, I'm not here to insult you or to say that it's, it's wrong. But uh, on my channel, when it comes to healing, natural healing, then it's 100% fruits and, and, and a raw vegan diet. If after you've done this and you want to go back to meats here and there, it's up to you. It's entirely up to you. But at least you know how to clean your body when you're done, okay? But most people who come to my channel are watching this right now are not here because they, they've never tried meat. There are meat eaters coming here to try and get remedy. So, let's see. Um, so, yeah, as someone says, low, uh, work for lower blood pressure and improve kidney function. Lower blood pressure, I told you, um, for blood pressure issues, it's kidney and adrenals, kidney and adrenals. So you got to fix your kidneys, you got to fix your adrenals. Okay, so adrenal herbs, kidney herbs, herbs and fruit diet, herbs for the entire body, clean the bowels, okay? Very, very, very simple, very, very powerful. Um, and then you see that once they, they both recover, the kidneys and adrenals, the pressure will normalize, okay? Of course, stay, in, stay on your meds as you do this, okay? Until your doctor, your doctor tells you otherwise, okay? And kidney function... Dry fasting, add dry fasting, 100% fruit diet, but add in some dry fasting. Um, heavy on the, on the herbs, uva ursi, buchu, um, cleavers herbs, nettle seed. These are fantastic for the kidneys. You know, we have them in the kidney teas. Okay, we, have, we have them in the kidney teas and the kidney six teas. And we have the, the kidney tinctures all in there. All for you, done for you perfectly. You don't have to figure anything out. But, you know, use the Fabulous Five and the, and the kidney tincture and the kidney tea and you'll be hitting the kidneys nicely when the kidneys get uh, uh, recovered the adrenals also recover automatically because remember the kidneys filter out the lymph system if you're on high, high fruit diet you're moving the lymph system with the fruit diet the herbs for the kidneys fix the kidneys adrenals the mucus and acids and adrenals will, will drain and they all work well and the blood pressure should normalize okay um let's see okay someone says i'm trying to heal acid reflux and making me skinny if i get herbs and fruit i'm going to get underweight See, a lot of people have this issue. If you're trying to heal an issue, I'm sorry, but if you're trying to heal, heal an issue, which is better? You, would you rather be skinny and healthy? Okay, or would you rather be a perfect body but sick? I don't know. For me, the option is clear, right? And the only reason why you're going to get skinny is because you're malabsorbed. You can see it in your eye. If you look in your eye and you take a picture of your eye and the pupil, around the pupil, there's a dark line there. Okay, you see that line. The darker it is and the bigger it is, the more malabsorbed you are. 
Okay, the body doesn't lie. The body, body is not stupid. The body is very intelligent. So if you're malabsorbed, that means that you're not absorbing any nutrients. So when you're detoxing, the calories are low. The body is trying to do its best to cleanse the body out, to remove the, remove the mucus plaque. So it's doing what it has to. It's not going to starve you. It's not going to get you malnourished. But let's put it that way. It's going to cleanse you to the point where then it will stop. Okay, I'll use myself as an example. I'm 230 pounds currently. When I st- first went on a detox, I was 240 plus pounds. Okay, uh, mo- most of it muscle. Okay, but I dropped it. I dropped it 209, and, and that's a lot. 209 is, is quite is quite thin for me. So, um, but it came back up after I've, I cleansed the body without changing the diet. When I was, I didn't eat any extra calories. I didn't take protein. I didn't do anything different. The weight went back by itself. Okay, to 225. Now I'm 230. Okay, so after the holidays, I guess a bit, a bit, a bit of a lot more cooked foods I had in the holidays. But you know, you, the body is not stupid. It knows what it's doing. So once it's cleansed itself out and you remove the malabsorption uh, issue, the, it's very easy to gain weight. And you gain the right kind of weight and the right perfect uh, level. And it's amazing to see it because the same calories that you use to drop uh, down to that low weight, the same calories the weight goes up again. So something's different. Something's working, right? You're absorbing more nutrients. So let's see. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Um, high blood, okay. Blood pressure, I covered it up. Um, parathyroid, I covered it. Let's see. Uh, mushrooms. Someone says, what are mushrooms good for? Now, mushrooms, um, they're, so many, they're, they're very medicinal. I mean, I love mushrooms um, in terms of, in tincture form. I take them like, you know, chaga mushroom, rishi, uh, shiitake, uh, turkey tail, these are fantastic. They're immune boosting. Most of them have high, high antioxidants and immune, immune boosting properties. So I do take them as, as in tincture form. I also love eating them raw as well. I like eating them raw and cooked. So you, you can take mushrooms, but you need to know which ones you're taking and for what purpose you're taking them for. Okay. So yeah, by all means, the good ones are achaga, rishi, shiitake, um, like I said, turkey tail, are fantastic, um, uh, mushrooms to take. I use them in tincture form though. Okay. Um, so it says, uh, neuropathy, feet are numb. Okay, again, your nervous, nervous system is down. Remember I said the three, three, um, ways of talking to the nervous system. One is the back of the head. Okay. This is cerebellum, mastoid medulla is located. One is the solar plexus as well. Nerves are there as well. And then your adrenals. So you want to target all those three. So I, I would go on a raw vegan diet, prefer, uh, preferably a high fruit diet if you can uh, do it. And I would use herbs for, um, the entire body, the fabulous for kidney But I'll use herbs also for the brain and nerves. Okay. And I'll use herbs for the solar plexus, meaning clean the gut, okay, cleanse the muc- mucus in the gut, and use herbs for the adrenals. You fix all those three, okay, everything comes back on, on board and you can get better. It's, okay, it's very, very simple. Remember that also, um, uh, stagnant lymph system put pressure on the nerves, okay, and this, and this pressure can affect blood flow and lymph flow, and, sorry, and nerve flow. And so once the, the lymph system is moving to 100% food diet, you have less pressure on the nerves and this will therefore better function. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I will save this live. I, I will for sure. Absolutely. Okay. I'm, I'm going to answer uh, two more questions and I will call it a day because it's quite a few. And I do appreciate all of you coming here. And I want to do this more often. Okay. Um, the, the last live I did was, I think was on New Year's Eve. Oh, no, sorry. The day before New Year's Eve. But I, I, I hope to do this on a weekly basis at least. So let's see. Um, uh, so I, oh, no, I, I think we forgot to cover that. Cool therapy. So yeah, so, so to get rid, so says, um, to get rid, uh, how to get hold of the herbs? I explained to you already. The herbs you can get them right here. You know, the, the fabulous five kidney tea on my website, miraherbals dot info. Mira, m i r a h e r b a l s dot info. You can get the, in, all the herbs there for for you. Okay, um, the base you want to use the fabulous five and kidney tea and one hundred percent fruit diet. That's what I would suggest for most people who want to get on the cleanse. Okay, fabulous five kidney tea is very simple, and you just stay consistent with it, and you do very well. Um, yeah, I come, someone said, did, you, did your weight balance? Yeah, I explained to you already. My weight did balance. After I did a detox, my weight came back to normal, okay? Um, the same diet. I didn't change the diet. Someone says mucus in lungs. If you have mucus in lungs, um, how do you remedy mucus in the lungs? Um, y- there are herbs for it, okay? But first and foremost, the diet. So I would go on a lemon oil cleanse. Why? Because the lemon oil cleanse is very aggressive, meaning that it's one, it's, a, it's a one diet that tends to really bring mucus out. I mean, when you go on a lemon oil cleanse, you see you spit out a lot of mucus. It's 
compared to the, uh, the other um, um, uh, protocols, the lemon only cleanse is fantastic for, for, the, for the lungs. Okay, so I'll be on the lemon only cleanse too. Like I'll try a seven to ten day lemon only cleanse, and I'll use the fabulous five kidney tea. But I'll also use a respiratory one tincture and respiratory uh, tea. Okay, these are herbs for the for the re, re, for the lungs. Okay, like uh, mulin, like um, uh, you know um, marshmallow. Uh, they're good for the lungs. They help the lungs, um, and this brings the mucus out as well. Okay, so you make sure you spit it out because you're going to see a lot of mucus come out of you, and it's, it's quite um, pleasing to see all this stuff inside you come out. Okay, so um, let's see uh, one more question. Yeah, so I, someone asked about a weight loss, and I know, I know you don't want to lose weight. Trust me, I do. I mean, if you're trying to heal something, don't worry about the weight. If you're not trying to heal something, have high calorie fruits like uh, dates and figs and bananas, okay? In addition to the superior fruits like, like the superior cleansing fruits like, like the lemon and the oranges and the, the grapes and the, and the melons, okay? Uh, let's see. Do her that's a good one. Do herbs cause gas? Um, not that I'm aware of, okay? And I've used a lot of herbs, and I personally, I use a lot of herbs personally, and I've never experienced gas with herbs, okay? Um, the only reason mostly why gas occurs is because, one, you're taking a lot of medication, especially like anti uh, antibiotics, and we leave sulfur in your system, and this can create a lot of gas because uh, sulfur attracts um, uh, candida and fungus, and this uh, it creates, generates a lot of gas. And the second, your adrenals are not working properly, so you're not metabolizing sugar properly. This creates fermentation, it attracts um, fungus, okay, and cre creates gas. And number three, your pancreas is not working properly. You're not digesting food properly. So make sure that um, you get herbs for the pancreas as well. But uh, when, you're, when you're chewing, when you're eating, uh, super chew. Like, take your time and chew, chew, and chew. That way you're breaking down the food before it actually hits down. Uh, it goes down further. And it's easier for the body to digest. So I would super chew and I would hit the herbs for the pancreas, use a lot of herbs for the pancreas and liver, okay? And adrenals, you know, the whole body, cleanse the whole body and you see this, um, the gas will go away, okay? But herbs, in my opinion, do not cause a gas, okay? Yeah, yeah, someone says you, you have to make it about van wellness, not vanity. Absolutely. If you're trying to heal something, don't worry about the vanity because it's easy to gain weight. It's easy to build muscle. When I say easy, I mean... Once you're healthy, you have the option. If you're not healthy, you don't have that option, right? And to sacrifice your vanity um, in, for, for, for your health is silly, if you ask me. Um, so someone says, this is a good question. What's the proper amount of juice to have in a glass? Um, I personally will have a large glass. I think it's about uh, 12, to six, 12 to 16 ounces. And it's enough for me. But you can drink as much as you want, okay? I mean, like if you go on a juice cleanse, there's no limit to it. Okay, if you're on a high fruit diet and a hundred percent fruit diet, there's no limit to it. Okay, because it it passes your body quickly, you know, and the body handles the, you know, the sugar properly, and there's no proteins and fats in the system to cause sugar issues. So, um, yeah, I mean, drink until you're satisfied. Okay, that, that's what I, what I would do. Um, let's see, how do you how do you um take care of adrenal fatigue? Adrenal fatigue. Um, kidney, you gotta fix your kidneys, okay? Remember, adrenals are, adrenals are compromised because of the, of mucus and acids affecting it. If you get the kidneys to filter and the lymph system to move, the acids and mucus affecting the adrenals can can be drained out and they'll function better. I would use adrenal herbs, okay? And I'll use um, possibly an adrenal glandular. You have to look in your eye and see if your adrenals are chronic. If they're chronic, then you use, use a glandular for a month, okay? Um, apart from that, 100% fruit diet, the Fabulous Five, okay? The kidney tea, Okay, and you, and you be patient and persistent. Once your adrenals get back on board, my goodness, the, the, the level of energy you get is mind blowing. Okay, but you gotta work at it. Adrenal herbs, adrenal tincture, adrenal glandula. Um, you know, get, it's kidney, kidney, kidneys though, kidneys and lymph system. If this, those two don't work, you can drain the acid from your, um, adrenals and therefore you can't, um, you can't function, they, they can't function properly. Okay. So, um, let's see. Yeah. I'll take one more question. I said two, but I've already gone four already. Okay, so... Uh, what particular tea or supplement for knee pain? Uh, knees, knee pain usually, okay, is correlated to your kidneys as far as natural healing is concerned. So it's a kidney issue. So you, you should be on the kidney tea, okay? And kidney tea. you got to change the diet, 100% fruit diet. It's not even a question. Okay, and uh, Fabulous 5, okay? And I use extra help for the kidneys. It's a kidney issue. The knee issue is a kidney issue. Because pain is trapped acids, acidosis. The body can't get rid of the pain. It's, it's infl inflammation in, in there. And the way to do it, natural healing, is to alkalize the body. So 100% fruit diet. Try a 20-day dark grip only diet with the herbs that I just mentioned. And you should get relief. And, if, and check your parathyroid because that also makes use of calcium 
And if you have a weak parathyroid, you're not using calcium enough, and that could cause problems there as well. So again, it's endocrine glands. So I'll use herbs for the endocrine glands as well, okay? And get an eye reading, see what's really weak, and address it, okay? The eye reading is fantastic because it shows you all the weaknesses. If you see any of my um, eye readings, I'm telling you, people, they, they, they don't, um, they're skeptical. I give them an eye reading, and it's precise. And they, they'll say to me, not even my doctor knew I had this pain. Well, because the eye doesn't lie. It's like a map. It shows you everything, everything. You know, it's, it's remarkable in, in its power. Um, the clarity you can see, the congestion you can see. It doesn't tell you diseases, don't get me wrong. It shows you weaknesses and strength. But once you know that a, a gland is weak or a tissue is weak, you can make the assumption that it's going to be a problem soon, right? Okay, so I, I'm going to, um, someone says, how do we get the Fabulous Five Herbs? Again, the, the website is Mira Herbals, M-E-R-M-I-R-A. H-E-R-B-A-L-S, miraherbals.info. And you can get all the herbs that, that you want, okay? But feel free to di direct message me. Feel free to comment, and I'll answer your, your questions. I, I, I do not ignore people, okay? Um, I'm here to help you so you can help yourself. I, nothing gives me greater joy. If you know anything about me, you know that, that you know, I, I'll do my best to answer your questions, and I'll do my best to help you, because I, I believe that the health is, is your right, that you should be educated to know all your options. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. If you like eating meat, whatever it is, your options are, that's your prerogative. But at least I can show you how, what I know, and it, it gives me great pleasure to know that I can help you so you can help others and take charge of your own health, okay? So, having said, I'm going to end it now. And thank you so much for, uh, for coming by. I do appreciate it. I, like, thank you so much again. And, and please, if I if miss any of your questions, I, so, so many questions, I can't get to it. Uh, feel free and direct message me, and I will get to it. It may take me a bit of time, but I will get, I, I will get, get to it. And you can always also email us as well, okay? If you go to my website and you, you go to contact us and send an email, um, someone's going to help you, okay? Because um, I, I teach my people also how to address these concerns as well, okay, for you. So have a, have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll do this more often. And like I said, good night, and peace and blessings be to you, and happy healing. <laughs>